everybody. You're watching Mr. Fugu Data Science. Today we're web scraping Indeed in October of 2021. A year ago this month, I made a previous video. I didn't know that the web scraping has changed since then, as of the last couple of months, I think. This was pointed out to me by a viewer and I appreciate it. He wasn't sure if this was relevant or not today. I told him I'll investigate it. Turns out that it is not. That's why we have this new video. I've seen other videos posted in the last month or so, but they're irrelevant. The format's not the same. If you want to follow the code, feel free to hit me up on my socials right here. The code will be linked in the description below for my GitHub. Feel free. These are the imports that we're going to need. We're looking at a data scientist in California. All right. We'll get into the code in a second. Feel free to pause this and read all of the descriptions, but I'm not going to go over that at this time. I posted in the code the original formatting of the 2020 so you can do a comparison wise and see the difference. I'm going to explain that a little bit below. The information that does stay the same is here. You iterate through however many pages and however many entries you want per page. Then we're looking at going through doing a string formatting for whatever parameters you want in your Q equals which will end up being basically like what your query parameters are and we're sorting by date iterating through each of the pages with this right here. Then we're using our request.get. I'm not sure if you've ever looked into web scraping before. I have another video on it. This is just helping for people who are looking particularly for indie.com who have web scraped before. Everything else after this request.get, all of these lines have changed. I'm going to get into that real quick. So the original code from 2020 of October when I did this, we're iterating through, right? We're looking into a div class to try to figure out what's going on. And at that time, you had something called a job serp job card. And the situation today, it's different. Let me show you why. When you're going in and you're looking at your entries, right? When we're looking entry by entry, if you look over here on the right, you see job C beacon and between each word there's an underscore that's letting us get to the outer parameters if you pay attention to this division line here and everything in between it is the data that we need for each individual entry all right before this was called something different so that's the first of our little hiccups that was in a big change trying to figure out where our starting point is because when you're dealing with JSON data you're going from outer to inner to work with the nesting then the next things that we had to look into is, well, what about the job title, company name, location, if we wanted the dates, etc. Has any of this changed? And yes, it has. If we look here, company name, right? This is different because it's in the H2 class with this specific title that you have to call. And then with inside of this is where you start getting the other information that you want. And it starts going down. See? So this span title is the job title. That's what's different here. You're not using this anymore and doing this nesting format for data, TN element, job title, and then inside of that, pull in the title. So feel free to pause this and look at comparing and contrasting. I want to just get into today's code. I'm iterating through these pages, looking through the California stuff, chucking it in, doing our string formatting for the web page, and then I'm using the beautiful soup right here that I aliased as BSOPA. Iterating through each one of these entries for our jobs, I'm going in this div class that I just showed up here. This, this job beacon, that's what we're dealing with right there. Let's see if I can make this more visible. So this job beacon is the first entry point. Now, we're doing something here, this little T body, all right, this text. This is a little interesting because you have to pay attention to this. This is a new formatting that they did for this website and it's, it's really irritating. Here's the next portion that we need to go, which is inside of our job bacon. So we're going down one level here. Then we need to go into these TR tags, all right, and pull everything that we need from the TR tags. Inside of that, I start digging at what I want to grab, all right? So what are we going to dig into? This H2 class. What is this H2 class? This H2 class is what we're going to start playing with. What's inside of it? You have your job title right here. So you have a span tag with a title for the job. So we're going to snag that in this H2. What we're looking at is pulling out parameters. If you forget to use this right here, you'll end up getting a string formatting that pulls out all of 
the spans that you're looking for and it's going to chunk the words together and it's going to look goofy and then you don't want to use regular expressions because that's just a waste of your time it's unnecessary so i pulled out what i needed because it's the second position in the spot when it gets all of your text information then what i want to do is start looking to grab the company information so we need to go into this heading six company location item getter so we're going to go in here and then you'll say okay where is this company name at this company name is in this span tag right the span class company name but that hyperlink you could use that to grab this information that's another thing that's going to come out for a job description if you wanted to go this route in doing that we're pulling all of the span tags you could do this you could pull this a little different depending on how you want to set this up feel free to change all this code and do whatever you want to make it better or adapt it to something that makes more sense to you here's where we're at this is the outermost portion that i went from here because i know that anything I call will be inside of this that's why I didn't just call this directly what about getting our location of where this job posting is all right that job posting is in the div class company location all right this is different all of this is completely different than what was posted last year all the way up until a couple months ago when they changed their formatting and there's another thing you need to pay attention to is the iframes and hidden information will cause problems if you're trying to web scrape if you're trying to pull that type of stuff directly consider using selenium after we get our company name and we append it that's fine what else do we want to do the salary isn't always available for each job so you have to do a if else statement to take care of that if the salary is available we're going inside of this class right here and then we have to go further in and go inside of this little snippet so let's go in here and let's find this job so for instance this job is right here and you see it's inside of this span well that span is inside of this snippet right here for this div class metadata salary snippet container so you're going inside of it everything is nested you're going from outer to inner always remember that getting the job description here is a little more challenging and very frustrating because these are lists if you see this li so that means you have to iterate over and snag all the information and store it but there's workarounds with this okay because this right here is a problem this is only your abbreviated uh, job description if you want to go into here for instance this separate tab so let's go over that clicks on the whole thing so this div class represents all of what you see here for this job and then you'd have to separately web scrape this but there's a hack or a trick that I did to this because they changed this if you notice for each job posting for instance we scroll up and scroll to the top you see this iframe that I mentioned before you could take this link and then web scrape that link to grab this information but I'm not doing that I found an easier way so the scroll up to the top and let me show you some well, let's do this look here's the first entry for the page but if you notice this right here this code block this code block is before each one of your job entries selecting this through your iteration will help you just grab the hyperlink so you're not dealing with any iframes or any nonsense okay or any clickable things you could extract this directly before you go inside and take the information from the actual job posting that's the hack that i did to save my life then we're able to take all of the information okay so the scroll down and look at something i printed out all of the jobs and that's what it looks like from this code because this was my test code i got the job what company was their salary where are they located next entry cool let's do the final touches of our code I just left random variable names because I was lazy just to get this stuff working to put this video out for you these are just made up names that don't make any sense just pay attention to the code since we're dealing with the first thing which is the entries of the job description because it's before the actual job itself which starts here I need to pull this out this you need to scroll up and understand let's in the T body first and then the TR tag so I'm starting from the outermost T body going grabbing the TR tag then I'm looking for the hyperlink which is this H reference and it's stored in the A tags grabbing all of those if we're in a position where it's not there I'm taking care of it with this if statement the else I didn't want to append any empty brackets for an empty list or anything Thing like that right then I store that value I go on the inside of it and start iterating to take the actual job description starting with this job scene beacon which is this right here and then just start snagging all of the information that we want 
which is fine. This is all same from what we did above that I just explained. That's the only bit that I had as an addendum, okay? So feel free to pause this video and grab any of this code, but it's gonna be on my GitHub, okay? The one thing that's interesting is the location. Let's go over that real quick. The location, I'm not sure if I completely showed that, but it's in a different kind of a tag. And you would think like, oh, I'm just gonna take this div class company location and grab my information. Okay, that's fine. But I was having some issues. So what I did instead was call this pre pre tag. And that pre tag is the outermost portion so it knows where to start searching for data. So I pulled that and then I grabbed the actual company location because it's nested inside of the pre tag. And when we print it out, we get a nested list which is storing accurately all of our uh, descriptive information that I just so decided was relevant to me. Company name, where are they located, salary if there was a salary, position title, and then this hyperlink. What you're gonna need to do is do a string concatenation, taking this and adding on to it the uh, prefix of the indie.com. And then when you take that, scrape any of the description qualifications or whatever you want from each one of those pages. Understand that each job description isn't gonna be set up the same. If you notice here, this one says full job description. Okay, that's fine. But you see this, it's formatted different. It says qualifications, then full job description, and then has whatever they have. Let's look at this. This one shows a salary, a little bit different, and then the job description. But you can pull that and web scrape it. I didn't go into full detail, I've done other videos. I'm just letting you know, this information I showed today is relevant for October 21 until whenever they change it again. But this should aid you in getting started with scraping Indy's new formatting, which is a little, a little frustrating and different, but it's not too bad. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Feel free to hit me up right here on my socials. And don't forget to grab the code on my GitHub. I'd appreciate it. And if you can, consider buying me a coffee. Thanks. Bye. Bye.